Welcome to the 2011 NCAA Division I Football Championship Selection Show. And there is Montana State as they watch on in Bozeman. Their first opponent will be a second round game against New Hampshire. The question for Montana State is going to be, they got a week to think about that loss to their rival. They had a chance to come in as a number one seed potentially didn't happen. How will they be able to bounce back coming in against a New Hampshire team that is rolling into the playoffs having beat their rivals Maine and New Hampshire is a team to the Montana State. Hey, <laughs> bottom line is they didn't win their last game but you're in and that is the big thing. But That's New right. Hampshire, this is a team that executes very well guys. They know how to win. They're not unfamiliar to the playoffs. So both teams, Montana State, they're going to have to play well in New Hampshire. They're not afraid of cold weather up there in Montana. No, they're, no, you're absolutely, <laughs> you are absolutely right. Of course, New Hampshire's not uh, not afraid of it either. They're going to make the long trip out to Bozeman and play that game for the Division One Football Championship. And you can see in the lower bracket, Old Dominion and Norfolk State both in. Both teams welcome yep. to the postseason to be their first FCS appearance for both schools. ODU is an incredible story. After 69 years of no program, it came back in 2009, and here they are into this tournament. Eastern Kentucky gets in. James Madison will travel to Eastern Kentucky to start the season. To call, start the playoff. call this the bubble ball. I thought both of these teams were clearly on the bubble. Seems like they both were rewarded and they get to face off against each other. Appalachian State will take on Maine there. So there you go. Georgia Southern awaits the winner of ODU Norfolk State. App State and Maine will be a second round matchup at App Appalachian State up in Boone, North Carolina. So that's what we're looking at. Now App State and Maine when you see this, Maine went into yesterday with a chance to win a conference championship, ended up falling. How do you like this matchup when you see it? Well, Maine's a team coming in, losing two of their last three. So they're kind of limping into the playoffs a bit. But you can't think FCS playoffs without thinking Jerry Moore and Appalachian State. This is a team with a lot of playmakers. DeAndre Presley, not the quarterback anymore, helping out at different positions. Jamal Jackson, the sophomore quarterback, making things. And obviously, Brian Quick, the senior wide receiver with over 50 catches on the year. But Maine, they're, coming, they're limping in a bit, but they are tough against the pass. So don't count out Maine. App State's got a tough first game on their hands. Yeah, the Black Bears of Maine, they can find ways to get it done. They do it year in and year out. Towson Lehigh is a second round matchup. Towson won nine games in the last four years total. They won one game last year. How have they pulled this off, this turnaround? Well, they found an offense, and that's been the key. Finding an offense that can really produce, and that's led by freshman sensation Terrence West. 27 touchdowns, not passing, rushing. 27 touchdowns, 1,200 yards. They found a way to win the close game. Robert Ambrose did a fantastic job. The Towson Tigers are the champions of the CAA Conference, which many people call the FCS. Uh, uh, the SEC of FCS football. Remarkable turnaround there. What a great story it is. What Towson has been able to do as we now welcome in the head coach of the Tigers, Rob Ambrose, joining us now. So for the first time, coach, you win the CAA. It's your first appearance in these championships, an eight-win improvement from a year ago. I can only imagine, what are you feeling for your program right now? It's a tremendously exciting, humbling, proud feeling that uh, we've had the ability as an institution to go from Division Three and make the playoffs to Division Two and make the playoffs, and now to finally do it at this level against such great competition is truly, truly amazing. I could not be more happy for our institution, our students, our players, our staff. It's awesome. Coach, Jay Walker was just talking about the improvement on offense. To what do you uh, owe the, 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 the turnaround here, the eight-win turnaround from a year ago? incredibly hard work by every human being involved from from the first year scout team guy to me to the administration to the students to the band everybody has bought in and we have just worked tirelessly we <laughs> with crazy hours a lot of hope a lot of pride a lot of love and <laughs> everything that's great about the game of football is now on our campus. It's just perfect. Coach, you have a freshman running back by the name of Terrence West who has 27 touchdowns on the season. What should we all know about this young man? Uh, that he's only a freshman. <laughs> and that uh, if you ask Terrence, the, the great thing about him is that he'll be a sophomore and some of the mistakes that he's made are just going to go away. And along with that stable of great running backs and a young offensive line, the future is very bright for that running game. Uh, Rob Ambrose, head coach of Towson. And coach, congratulations on getting in and on the great turnaround in this season you've had so far. Thank you. 
Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.